Hello, 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 and welcome to my video. Now, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to install Roam Extract from 3 for the Steam version of Roam Total War. Now, things you will need. <coughs> you will need, obviously, Roam Extract 3 upgrade and Roam Extract 2.5, not the 2.6 patch. You do not want to be installing that, as all the content from that patch is already included in with Roam Extract 3 upgrade. Um, so don't download the Roam Extract 2.6 patch. Just download Roam Extract 2.5 from Mod2B and Roma Serectum 3 from the Total War Center, links in the description below. Um, you will also need uh, a computer, mouse and keyboard preferably, um, somewhat of a brain, Steam. Uh, you will also need, important, um, joking aside, uh, you need a monitor. Um, okay, for seriously now, uh, joking aside, you, you will definitely need some sort of place to put all this equipment. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't I can't stop. Anyway, yeah, you will you will need Room Total War and you will need Room Total War Alexander. According to the guy on the according to the guy who wrote out the forum page, Room Extractum 3 doesn't work with Room Total War um, launcher. You need to have Room Total War and Room Total War Alexander. Okay, so uh say so go to these two web pages here, you've got ModDB, um download Room Extractum 2.5. I've already got it, so I'm not gonna download it, but you guys feel free to download it. Um also go to this Total War Center page and scroll down and there's a link for the uh, Roma Spectrum 3 upgrade. Uh, links, yeah, like I said, links in the description below. So yeah, get get those downloaded and get sorted before I come around to you wherever you live and and watch you. Anyway, let's proceed. Uh, so once you've you've downloaded Roma Spectrum 2.5, you've downloaded Roma Spectrum 3. You've got a clean install of Room Total Alexander and Room Total Gold from Steam. What you want to do now is. You want to navigate to where your Steam is installed to, or where your Steam games are installed to. Mine's in just a local disk, say games, Steam apps, common. And scroll down until you see Room Total War Alexander and Room Total War Gold. Now, what you want to do is you want to create a Room Extractum folder, name it whatever you want. You can see I've named mine RS3. So create that empty folder. Then what you want to do is you want to install Room Extractum 2.5 first in that folder that you created. Then you want to also install Room Extractum three upgrade in that folder and um, overwrite any files so install those install Roma Spectrum 2.5 then install Roma Spectrum 3 upgrade in the newly created that you guys created Roma Spectrum folder and it should look like this we've got all the files in here yep cool now what you want to do is you want to go into well what you can do actually is you can back up um, your Room Total War Gold if you want to, so just copy and paste the Room Total War Gold folder and place it anywhere uh, f as a backup. Personally, I think it's faster just to, if you mess up, just to uninstall it and reinstall it again because of hard drive speeds. I don't, I don't know what your computer specifications are. If you've got a fast hard drive or an SSD, it might just be quicker for you to create a backup. Um, but yeah, create a backup if you wish, just copy and paste it anywhere. Um, what you want to do now is you want to go into Alexander folder and you want to highlight everything and copy and paste everything in your Alexander folder and put it into your Room Total War Gold folder like so um, replace any files that it asks you to uh, yeah I'll be right back as soon as it's done <coughs> okay guys welcome back so this is what my the hell is that get off my screen thank you and um, so yeah this is what my Room Total War Gold folder looks like after copying and pasting the Room Total War Alec. Sorry, let me let me start the sentence again. <sighs> this is what my Room Total War Gold folder looks like after copying and pasting the content from my Room Total War Alexander folder into it. There you go. That was a lot better. So as you can see, obviously I've got all the icons here. It's Room Total War Alexander's merged with uh, Room Total War. Like I said, if it asks you to replace anything, just overwrite everything. Okay. I can't think of anything else. Yep. Okay. That's fine. Next, what you want to do is you want to go into your folder that you created to, to store all of the Room of Srectum 3 content. You want to highlight everything like so, and you want to copy and you want to paste it into the into your Room to War Gold folder. so this will take quite a while uh yeah so yeah i can't think of anything else uh, I'll, I'll be right back then 
once this is done. Stop recording, please. Stop. Why isn't it? Stop recording. Stop. Stop recording, God damn it. It's still recording? Why? Why are you still recording? Stop. I can't. It's it's frozen. Hello and welcome back. Now my uh, my room has wrecked and three has finished copying over into my room to solve a gold folder. So I'm going to show you guys what to do next. Okay, so. A little bit of recap first <coughs> from the top uh, obviously you downloaded and installed room total war alexander and room total war gold you've downloaded room total war uh room total war romas rectum 2.5 and three point and the three upgrade you then went into your steam folder and copied and pasted the content from your room total war alexander folder into your room total war gold folder you then created a new folder and called it whatever you want and in that new folder, you installed Rumas Rectum 2.5. Then you installed Rumas Rectum 3 upgrade. You have then copied and pasted the content of your Rumas Rectum folder and pasted it in your Room to All Gold folder. And it should look like this. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now, you will notice that when you have installed the Rumas Rectum 2.5 mod, it's created a desktop shortcut. On your desktop obviously now you want to delete that the reason for that is because that points to an incorrect location now so delete that get rid of it what you want to do now is you want to go to you want to go into your room total war gold folder and you'll go to the launcher and you want to go into and you want to create a shortcut for the room rectum 2.exe try that on your desktop or wherever you want Mm -hmm. I only got one, have I? That one's incorrect. Sorry, yeah. So yeah, drag that. Not like that. Create a shortcut, god damn it. There we go. Create a shortcut. Drag that onto the desktop. off so you can hear me. Uh, Steam, yes, whatever. Don't care. Um, okay, so I've got some options here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, toggle whatever you want. Uh, Bloom effects, high res unit models, etc., etc. Um, to edit preferences, go to Edit RS3 Preferences. You can tell it's obviously Roma Spectrum 3 upgrade because it says Roma Spectrum 3. You know, anyone could guess that, I suppose. Okay, uh, important, make sure you change your um, battle and campaign resolutions or it will crash, I believe. Uh, flip in hell, there we go. I'd recommend setting stuff to high. Uh, I wouldn't recommend going any higher than that unless because <laughs> I don't know it depends. I mean, you could try it, but Rome Total War is not very well optimized. So yeah, it is. It's just not optimized for obviously uprising textures and stuff like that. So not optimized for modding. That's what I mean to say. So it can crash more frequently and run slower. Yeah. Generally, I wouldn't change too much. Um, I don't know what that does actually. I might test that one out. Uh, other parameters, um, AI formation. I don't know if you should. I'm gonna try that actually. It might crash. I'm gonna try that. Uh, modesty. That's basically units. The like naked units um, are completely naked. If that's 
that's no. Uh, that one, I don't want to say that. So yes, that one. Oh, that's actually, yes or no. It toggles whether or not naked units are actually completely naked, or if they're wearing some sort of like long cloth or something. But I don't know what's what, so I'm going to leave that. Garrison swap default, clear formation default. Uh, save that. Um. Yeah. So that. So yeah, I go into the um. The main thing is go into your preferences and amend the. This I think it's called strategy. Well, let me double check. So yeah, amend the battle max resolution and battle resolution to whatever the resolution is of your monitor, and the strategy max resolution and the strategy resolution. Amend that to whatever the resolution you want. Uh, yep. Uh, you can start your faction by clicking on here. Um, I'll just keep it a room. Yep. Uh, obviously you want to use the room to or Alexander. Dot exe. Sim version yes. Uh, and that looks good. Hope that this works. This video has been far too long. Sorry if you can hear my computer, by the way, that's my um, very quiet AMD stock fan. So, yeah, get a little of that. Pardon me, that's the, the little whining noise you've been hearing throughout the entire of the video. If it's a load or crash, if it crashes, I'm gonna cry. I had my fingers crossed when I said that, so I won't actually cry because that'd be embarrassing. <laughs> So let's go into a campaign just to prove that's worked or hasn't worked. Either way, this video is going to get uploaded. Uh, I've read somewhere that if you increase the difficulty, it crashes. If you increase it anywhere above medium difficulty. I'm not willing to test that in this video. Because I look like an ass hat if it crashes. Uh, okay, so the first real challenge. Nope. So I'd, yeah, I'd recommend looking that up. Recommend looking up the difficulties in Roma Rectum. I can't remember where I read that though. I think it was on the Total War Center forums. Okay, so it looks like it's working. I, had, I think it had something to do with me crashing. I think it had something to do with it not loading in the script properly because I had to manually activate the script. I don't know what I don't know what wrong went wrong with my game, but anyway, it looks to be working now, and I've got for some reason I haven't got fog of war. Jesus Christ, look at all that. Yeah, so um. You can tell the script's running because I have five thousand five thousand one Nari. Uh, you get you gain an additional Denari. D Denari. Um, was it with these weird names? God damn it! For currency. Uh, if you get an additional one currency, if the script's activated. So yeah, I'm gonna go into a battle here just to make sure the battles are working properly. Crashes. Then we're gonna try changing that AI option to Alex only. See if it makes a difference. Please work. Please work. Please work. Please. Come on. Go on, son. Go on. Woohoo! Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you install Roma Rectum Two. Boom! Thank you for watching. It's not going to stop recording, is it? It's not. It's, it's. Why is Shadow Play so 
goddamn finicky. Come on! is going on with this stupid piece of software honestly I could walk up to NVIDIA headquarters and slap everyone in the face come on honestly I'm going to break my keyboard because of this stupid NVIDIA thing I'm going to that's it I'm using OBS from now on you've done you've lost a customer NVIDIA well done Stop. <laughs> 